Hello, welcome to Tapper Machine. I'm Josh Tapper. So I'm standing next to my Lucas horizontal boring mill and I've got a job in here um, that I'm working on a video of, but I ran into a little snag. My current line boring bar is a little small, a little short. There's a one inch bar that I made uh, a while back for a different job and that video is on here. Um, but I need a bigger bar and a longer bar. Um, and I don't need a whole lot longer to make this work, but I'm going to build one long enough to do other stuff in the future. So I've got this chunk of 4140 pre-hard, inch and a quarter, and we're going to turn this into a line boring bar with uh, half inch square holes. So let's get it over to the lathe, get the ends trued up, and get started. Now we turn it around and do the same thing on the other end. So the next step here is to get our bar up on the bridge port and drill 17 30 seconds holes every 4 inches. And that is the pilot hole for our half inch square brooch. Uh, this is a Dumont push brooch and we will be pushing it through with the Dake 4M Arbor Press and just be very careful so you don't break these things because they are not cheap and they do, if you get them off a little bit, they do snap. So let's get drilling. So I'm going to start at one foot and drill my first hole and then move over four inches, four inches and, and move the bar down and drill every four inches all the way down it to about a foot from the other end. So I've got our first three holes drilled, now I'm off the vise too far and I'm going to get too much deflection if I keep drilling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the drill back, um, unclamp the bar, move that down, run the drill into the bar to get everything true so it's not twisted to offset, and then clamp it back down and then re-zero and 
Keep on going. So we got everything moved over, it lined up nicely, clamped down. Now I move back over four inches for my next hole, and then I'll be able to move four inches for the next one, and then shift it down again, and do that all the way down to the other end where I want to stop. But uh, instead of showing all the drilling, which is very difficult, this is hard material, uh, 4140 pre-hard, I'm just going to skip ahead in the next scene, we're going to show you how to do the broaching. Alright, so we're back here in the weld shop, and this is my Dake 4M. 5 ton arbor press. I picked this thing up at a yard sale, believe it or not, uh, quite a few years ago and it's been handy. Um, so I got my my bar set up here, got a support out there and uh, we're ready to go. So let's uh, get the broach in here and oil it up good and try to push it through as straight as possible and hopefully we don't break it. All right, so we got our first hole broached, um, came out nice. Uh, the thing with the broaching now too is because it's a round bar, you go a little ways, you stop, release the pressure and re-straighten and just keep checking and checking and checking because if you're off a little bit and you just go, you're gonna get to a point where it's just gonna pop and snap the thing. So uh, that's why I stop every once in a while, back it off, reposition, go. So let's keep going. Now I know I make this look easy, but it's really not. Um, I'm actually very nervous while doing this. I just don't want to break my brooch. Um, I do have a spare, but you know, this is some hard material I'm pushing through. This is 4140 pre hard. So it's between a 28 and 32 ish Rockwell C. So it's pretty, pretty tough stuff, but I got one, two, three, four, five, six holes of my, I think I've drilled 14. 14 of them, yeah, so I got eight more to go. So I'm just gonna keep plugging away at this and uh, hopefully I don't break one.
All right, we got all of our half inch square holes broached and uh, we're back up here at the bridge port. The next thing we got to do is drill and tap for a set screw. And I think what I'm going to do is probably drill and tap for a fine thread, um, probably a 3 8 set screw. And uh, so let's get that started. I'm going to drill them in here and then I'll hand tap them just because I don't want to have to switch the bit um, between the drill and the, and the tap. So let's get started. All right, so I better explain what I just did there. I put a tool bit in one of my broached holes and put the level on it, and that'll tell me when I'm perfect as far as my, my alignment to my square holes this way, and then I can drill them. So once I get to this one, I'm gonna have to move my, my tool bit and recheck the level, but then I can just utilize this tool bit, whichever hole I put it in, moving forward. Well, there it is, all done. Um, just a little bit of drilling and broaching and some material, um, drill and tap, and uh, got a nice shiny new inch and a quarter line boring bar. So now I can get this job going. This is the front end of a case tractor. We're gonna be boring out these, uh, where this, this little bushing goes. We're gonna bore it oversized and make bushings to, that will fit in there to accept these. So. Since the bore is so small, I won't be welding it up. It just doesn't, doesn't pay. It's so small, it's so hard to do. So we'll bore, bush, and then put the bushings in it. And that job will be done, and the customer can get his tractor back together. So with that, just get out in your shop and get it done right the first time. <laughs>